Okay, so now we have this store registered right here and we have some state for the store, which is these tasks and the name, but we want to now access this state from one of our components. Now, we'll access it from this view component right here. So the way we do this is by using the setup function. This is just the composition API in Vue.js. And inside that setup function, we can then access the store by just invoking it. Now, before we do that, we need to import it. So let's do that inside the script as well. I'm going to say import and we want the use task store and that comes from and we want to go into the stores folder and then we want the task store file. So we have this function which I'm going to copy and now we can just invoke it down here. So I'll say const task store is equal to use task store and invoke it. And what that does is basically return us the store. So this thing right here, basically. And then down here, we can return that task store just so it's available inside our view template. So if we want to access a property on this, a state property, we can just say task store dot tasks or dot name. So for example, I'm going to say right here, instead of pin your tasks, I'll say task store which is accessible to us because we returned it down here. And then dot name, which is the name property we have over here. And that needs to be in double curly braces, not single ones. I've been using React too much. All right, so now if we save this, we need to also run npm run dev to run this in a browser. And now in a browser, we can see that we have this Yoshi name as the title. So it's pulling that from the store and it's outputting it now in the template. Awesome. Okay, so ultimately we don't really want to output the name right here of Yoshi. So let me delete that and just change it back to Pinya tasks like so. And also in the task store, we don't really need this name property. So let me get rid of that. Okay, so then what I want to do is actually cycle through the tasks and output the task card, if you like, for each of those tasks. So let us first cycle through them. I'm going to leave a little comment right here to say task list so we know what this is. And then underneath that, we'll do a div with a class of task hyphen list so we can style this later. Now inside that div, we want to cycle through all of the tasks in the store. Now to do that in view, we can use v4. So I'll do a div right here first, and then I'll use the v4 directive. And we set that equal to task in store rather it should be task store, task store dot tasks. So we're basically saying cycle through this thing right here and output this div for each one. And for each item we have in this, we can use task to reference it. Okay. So inside here, I'm going to just output the task title for now. So let me do a P tag and then double curly braces. And then we'll say task, which is this thing right here. That's what we called it. And by the way, you can call that what you want. You can call it X, Y, Z if you want. I'm going to call it task because that makes sense. And then we can use the title property right here on that task. So task.title like so. So let me save that now and preview in a browser. All right. And we can see that works because we see both of those titles right here. Now, what I'd like to do is instead of just outputting a P tag with the title for each task, I'd like to actually create a reusable component for each task, which is going to be called task details. And then we can just place that component right here. Then inside that component, we can have a little bit more functionality and a little bit more template without kind of bloating this file right here. So let me delete this right here. And then inside components, I'm going to create a new file called task details dot view. All right then. So inside here, we want to use vbase and then I'll say no styles. Okay, so now let me save this and back in app.view, I want to import that. So let me import that at the top. I'll say import task details. And then that's going to come from the components folder. And then inside that, we want task details. All right, so we also need to register that component down here. And we can do that by saying components and then task details and then a comment at the end. All right. So now we can output that component right here, task details like so. So now we have one of these task details component for every task in the tasks property. 
Now we also want to pass in that individual task as a prop each time around. So let's do that. So colon and then task, and then we set that equal to the task. All right. So now we're passing down as a prop the task each time into this task details component. So now let's start to flesh this out. So to begin with, I'm going to register the prop that we want to accept. So we'll say props down here and inside an array, we'll say we want the task prop, which is the name of the prop we pass through. Okay. Now the template itself will give this div a class equal to task like so. And then inside that we'll do an H3 and that is going to be for the task title. So double curly braces, task.title like so. Now after the H3, I also want two icons. I want a little trash can icon to delete the tasks in the future and also a little heart icon so we can toggle the favorite property of this task in the future. Now I'm going to do a div with a class of icons to do this. And then inside that, we're going to have two icons. Now, remember at the start of this whole series, I said, if we go into the index file, which is down here, that we have a link to material icons. So we can use that in our template. And all we need to do is use an I tag for this and give each one a class equal to material icons. So material icons like so. And then we can use the keywords for each icon inside those tags. So for example, for a trash can, we use the keyword delete and that gives us a trash can. Now I'm going to copy that and down here we'll have favorites instead and that gives us the heart icon. Okay, so let's save this now and see if it works in the browser. All right, and now we can see it works. We get both of these tasks, each one with their own icons. Now it looks terrible, so let's add some styles just to make it look a little bit better. So inside the assets folder, then inside main.css, I'm just going to paste these styles in just so you don't have to watch me type them all out from scratch. I will quickly go through them. So we have this class right here, task list. Remember that's in app.view, this class right here, which surrounds the entire list. And we say max width is 640 pixels, margin 20 pixels, top and bottom, auto left and right. Now for each individual task, which is inside the task details, component, this thing right here, we give these styles, a bit of padding, a background of white, margin top of 20 pixels, a bit of a border radius, a box shadow to give it some depth. We display it as flex so that each of these things inside it, this and this div sit next to each other. And then we say justify content space between to put space between those elements and align item center vertically. Now for the H3 inside that and the task icons, we say display inline block. For the icons, we say text align right. And then for each individual icon, each eye tag, we say the font size is 1.4 Ms, a bit of margin left, cursor pointer, so we know we can click it, and a color of this gray color. So let's save that now and see if it looks any better. And yep, that is looking a lot better now. Okay, cool, so now we can access the store state. In the next lesson, I wanna talk about something called getters.